M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ATS Max Decoder Receiver. Fantastic device, touch screen, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, it decodes FT8. You can listen to all of the HF bands and many other bands. It has broadcast radio. When you're listening to the BBC or Radio 1, you get the information come along the screen. Look here, you've got the live time. These little sets are packed with features. You can buy the non-FT8 version for about £60. But if you want everything, all the bells and whistles, then you need the ATS Max Decoder. Get the one with the Arduino code already installed. That way you don't have to mess around upgrading the firmware. Although I will be making very easy to follow videos upgrading the firmware on this device. So we're, of course we're in FT8 mode now, 7074, 40 meters and it's scrolling down and it's and it's showing FTA and I believe that we get little green green things show up when when someone's calling CQ. The back of this device has a BNC antenna connection as you can see there. So BNC, very solid BNC. There is a handheld version of this called the ATS120. We'll look at that in a separate video. Headphone jack which sounds good. What else we got here? See if we get some more light on this. Power on off, USB charge, a very good battery that lasts a long time. And then you've got the, the ability there to select either your SSB, long wave, medium wave, short wave antenna, FM for your broadcast stations. But in this new model, they've actually added an auto selection there as well. And they've also added a Wi-Fi antenna here, as you can see, and it, it picks it up fine. And that's your, your BNC. It's a very solid device good loud speaker on the top there and it just feels quality i know you're going to say you know you sure so sort of, i'm not going to even repeat what other people say no this is a good quality item for what you pay it's, i think it's excellent it looks better in real life than it does on the camera so let's exit from this well we'll quickly show you what's on now they've got scroll there uh, and that's scrolling down this information here from ft8 we can mute it just by Tap in the screen, look. You're seeing a Wi-Fi there. You're seeing that there's the time. If you haven't connected your Wi-Fi, you won't get the time. You won't get the FT8 working. And thanks to the station that sent me the message telling me that. Scroll, volume, you can tap here. Or you can just push the, the, the VFO, let's call it. You've got AGC and exit. So let's press the volume just so you can see what that does. Or the tune knob is a good size. Push it once, you get volume and you just turn it. Push it again. There you go. And it's a touch screen, so, so tapping the screen can be a, a back, sorry about that, back, a back button as well. So let's exit from that. We'll come out of FT8. This is sort of the, I would say, the classic screen that you're used to seeing. Then you would select ham. 40 meters. You can see the battery. If you tap it, it shows volts. If I could turn off the Wi-Fi by just tapping that. We haven't played with Bluetooth yet, but we will do. Uh, I'll just tap that and see what happens. But yes, Bluetooth is in this. In the older versions, you, you, you are able to add Bluetooth modules. BFO, that allows you to fine tune. So once you tap it and then you can turn the tune knob, look, we can fine tune. Frequency step. Tap that. Let's come out of BFO first. There's your steps. Let's do 10 for now. Bandwidth, I like it around three, but you know, you've got these selections here. You tap the one you want, it comes out of the screen. Let's see if there's any activity on 40 meters. Now to, to change the frequency faster, just tap it over here. Move the, let's see the little orange line, just move it over like so. To change the mode, before I forget, LM, AM, USB, CW, and it, yes, to get all those FT8 modes, you just tap Digi. And look how many appear. FT4, FT8, RTTY, S, even, I haven't tried SSTV, I don't even know if that would ever work. PSK, JT9, let's just tap SSTV, no it's not, but maybe that's a modification. FT8, FT4, PSK, and then just tap the one you want, and it just 
automatically just starts to do everything for you. It does look for the Wi-Fi. It wants to see the time. Uh, but let's just go back. You've got AGC there on the screen as well. Go back to that and then we'll see if we can just get a normal, normal LSB 40 meter station. It's, it, you know, at this time of night in the UK, the conditions are never that good. You know, it seems like it's rubbish now, but it does come, when it does come to life, there are plenty of signals. I find that the way it works is you can think it's not very good conditions and then, but you get to a signal and it booms through. So it's almost like the AGC is doing a really good job. There's a station there, I thought the loudest. You've got attenuation here, which you can set. There is, there is someone chatting there. There you go. It is weak. So we've got mute. Sounds Spanish, I think. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Okay, let's hit the band selection here. Band. Look at all these different bands you can select. You know, many, many non ham bands. FM. There's the news. RDS is turned on, so look, we're getting BBC, we've got the time, the date. And it's a nice sound. It's not it's not a bad sound, it's a nice sound. Hello, tonight pop goes the missing female artist. Go back to ham bands. 40. Ham. 20. Ham. 80. It's all there. It's as good as your antenna. So that's everything on this screen. Frequency, you can see at the top here, you've got your step, your mode, 80 meters, your bandwidth, your attenuation, and your fine tune. All there, all the information's there. Even the signal information here. SNR as well, and kilohertz. So we'll go next. In this window, that's the RDS that turns on when it was saying BBC4. Um, FM, again, that selects the broadcast radio. We've got Retro Star, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, you are like CB, watch this. And just while we're here, look, you can scan up and down. There's a scan button there and light. Tap for muting. If you mute it for a bit, and it actually mutes. Do you see that? It actually muted the spectrum. CB, look at this. And then you can just change channel 19, 19 trucker, and then USB, AM, it's all there, let's unmute. Did I unmute then or not? Oh, that's the other bit I haven't showed you there. Look, you can choose spectrum, scope, this is in all, all bands, signal meter, and then waterfall. Probably signal meter goes better with the CB, I would say. We want, really want USB, don't we? And, and you, you will pick stations up. Maybe not today. I love that. Anyway, come out of CB. There's the frequency still on screen. We can change. Retro style. Like the old days. Again, you can select band. Choose the one you like. Short wave. Different settings there. City. Step. And we exit that. Go back to back. Go back one if you want to just get back on the handband. 
then go next to the next menu go to setup Bluetooth looks like it's not on see my IP address there that's because the Wi-Fi is connected if you want to connect your Wi-Fi just turn when you're in this window so it's I think it's the second window across was it turn on wireless on and then you tap these three lines and that gets you uh, it will scan your Wi-Fi and you can then add your passwords go next restore save and reset and I think that's about it it will ask you to save if you've made changes I think it's a fantastic device I'll quickly show you the handheld which is very similar there's the handheld the antenna on this you've got the telescopic antenna here like so and then you you can plug in at the bottom a 3.5 jack as well it's doing FT8 at the moment if we try and let's have a go of doing some hand bands FT8 settings and Wi-Fi everything's identical if we exit and you can use your finger band uh, no we want ham band we want so ham 40 and you can change the orientation of the screen so you can hold it you know with your hand long ways I mean it's small it's a small device it's the screen is probably the same size as the other one but the whole thing is smaller it's a smaller device the battery lasts a long time so they've done something good with the with the battery uh, the antenna just a bit of wire at the moment uh, let's just tap the screen here push down the volume It's not using the telescopic now, it's using the wire. Mode, we need to be in LSB. You can see the Wi-Fi there as well. And it does do Bluetooth. So yeah, we're not going to get any joy on that, but that's okay. So thanks for watching my channel. Great fun playing around with these devices. Catch you on air, 7-3, all the best.